Don't you look well? Did you see the pipe was match? Smashing. You can take your joy immediately. Lovely day for it. What's your pleasure then? We're expecting a new sh- I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Spend my money, shall we? Do people still buy these? Morning. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new.
Not today, I'm afraid. Can you believe I blew it all on these boots? Cheery bye! There you go! Oh, your bird likes it! Flowers! Lionel, flowers! You will take your joy immediately. Once upon a time, there was a lady who lived in a lake. A powerful alchemist was in love with her, but she refused to be his. Not until he'd taught her all his secrets. The alchemist laughed and laughed and said, What does a pretty girl want with chemistry? And that made her angry. But he humoured her, and he showed her his laboratory, and she amazed him with her learning. Her powers grew and grew, until one day she was as great a chemist as he was. Some even said greater. <laughs> He started to be afraid, surely he'd know that she'd use his secrets against him someday. What he didn't foresee was that she'd leave him for the general. Oh, I'm rubbish at stories, aren't I?
shall we wander today? Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better.
I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Oh, what fun. Aha! Uh -huh. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. And that's for ditching. What's this key card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets.
Testing Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. Think we don't matter just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. What, Dr. Verloc? Johnny King's mill drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead mush... ...room farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! Please stand by for decontamination. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my Apple canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it.
than anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... I hope this is all of my out. Oh god, my feet are killing me. Stop crying for mummy. Sweet dreams. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realise it was so Mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep.